Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Thursday on FIBA 21. We have got the guaranteed Path to Glory Team 2 SBC probably coming today along with the weekend league rewards and... Of course, interesting market movements with those French objectives for the Weekend League Plus. We'll talk about that, what that could mean for the market. And of course, tomorrow, we will be seeing our first Path to Glory upgrades based off how many of how many wins some of these PTG cards have gotten. We've got a couple cards here that are locked and loaded, ready and set for upgrades. I think that's going to be an exciting time on the market tomorrow. So we're going to talk about that, just what is going on with this game and how these cards are, again, just incredible incredible opportunities to trade uh on this game also want to look at sbc fodder with again that sbc coming today what is that guaranteed path to glory sbc going to be looking like for the market what is that going to do and are french cards going to rise even further today like some of these icons and some of these out of pack specials that are uh, of the france nationality are they going to be rising up even more today with rewards with those of course um being the focal point with these Weekend League Plus objectives. I think that's what I want to start talking off first today is the Weekend League Plus objectives and how this affects this game, right? Weekend League Plus. Now, also, when we talk about this, we usually see Weekend League Plus objectives when um, there are there's not going to be an actual promo Friday released. So this is a bit interesting in the fact that we thought we might see Summer Stars cards tomorrow. Um, on Friday, but as it looks right now, we might just be having Weekend League Plus that might be doing PTG upgrades, um, and I guess maybe in that fact, they could release the PTG cards back into packs, both teams, not 100% ex not expecting that one, um, but I think what we'll be on the lookout for today is, again, that Summer Stars card design, which is basically the same card design right here for the Path to Glories, but it has all the different color in the background. If we do see a legit PNG or JPEG, whatever kind of file it is, is uploaded into the actual game from Footwatch um, in the code, then we will 100% know, in my opinion, that tomorrow will be those Summer Stars items. So the content's been rolling out this week, right? I've got a lot of SBCs that I have yet to complete, and fodders get a little bit lower than what it was. Like, I've got the 87 triple to, to, to do, the 82 times 10, probably going to give that a shot as well. We do have some fodder in the clubs, so we're going to give that a go. Again, it's just a bummer that the 82 plus player pick is our repeatable upgrade pack that we had this week, and I just think the level of hype on that SBC is just not too high. It's not very grindable. It's a lot harder to do. So maybe some of you guys are doing still uh, still doing some of those, but I think it's just the hype is not there on those in my opinion. Um, but these these upgrade packs are nice, right? And the Rakitic SBC is a W as well. So we're getting good value SBCs right now. The content is good. It's just. Um, I think we're really curious to see what's going to happen on Friday, and today could continue with that good content, of course, if we do have the Path to Glory SBC. But again, back to the market, right? Today's weekend league rewards. So some of these PTG Team 2 cards are probably going to get supplied. Now, last week, we actually saw pretty big drop-offs on rewards day for some of these cards. Now, the only interesting thing is the preview packs have supplied these cards so much that they're already so cheap. But also what you see here is an interesting thing to be watching out for today with the guaranteed PTG pack and Weekend League rewards is some of these cards are guaranteed upgrades. Firmino and Brazil got their third win tonight in the 90th minute against Colombia. So he's going to go to a 97 rated card. Militao is going to go to a 94. Hazard's going to get boosted up. Wijnaldum's going to get a boost. Um, and I think from this team too, those are the only cards that are getting boosted up, right? Thorgan Hazard's getting an upgrade. Florenzi will go up plus two. Wijnaldum will go up plus two. Verratti, Delict, Hazard. Those are the cards along with Vinicius Jr., um, Eder Militao, and Roberto Firmino. Those are the cards that tomorrow will get upgraded as of right now. Those are the, I think it's going to be nine cards in total that will be upgraded with the three Brazilians the two Belgian cards, the two Dutch cards, and the two Italian cards that are in this game. So our first upgrades are coming in. I'm very curious to see how much they juice these cards up. Again, it's a plus two upgrade. So we're expecting a plus two in all stat categories, maybe a plus three in one or two of them. That'd be pretty dope. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that tomorrow. Um, but I'm, I'm interested to see if anybody, like let's say somebody today on the market's like, 
I think this is a very popular way of maybe some investors might what they might be looking for today on Thursday. You have this Militao who's dropped off after Brazil. I've actually won and clinched that game, that third win to kind of lock his upgrade in. You're seeing his price drop off. He's going to get supply today at rewards. Maybe this is the type of card that, you know, if you think back to the PTG Team 1 guaranteed pack, you didn't get that many Golovins. You didn't get that many Yazikis. Some people did, but honestly, you had a lot of Veratis. You had a lot of Surge Nabries. I think from this week's PTG Team 2 SBC, you're probably going to see a decent amount of Chilwell, Paredes, uh, Marata, Klosterman, Rebic, but you might also see a decent amount of Wijnaldum and Eder Militao because those are some of like the mid-tier cards that seem to pop a lot in the last week's guaranteed from Team 1. I think these guys might pop again from Team 2, which is going to be interesting market movements because I feel like there will be some people on the game today that are looking to invest in Militao, in Hazard, in Firmino, some of those cards that are going out of packs tomorrow um, that also could have a rise with their upgrade. So I think that's going to be a, a very interesting part of the market to do, to keep an eye on. Um, you know, even this hazard card, like I really feel like a lot of these guys are really cheap. I mean, 580,000 coins, this add in hazard is pretty nuts. I do expect it to drop more today with weekend league rewards, tradable supply, of course, brand new preview packs being open today. So I would expect drop off and with the guaranteed as well, if his, if he pops up from those packs a lot, then he could drop even more later on today. I think the other part of the market that I'm just so interested in knowing what's going to happen with are these, are some of these cards that are French that have already gone up so much in price. I mean, if you think about it, a lot of people who are playing weekend league at this point have probably purchased some of these French cards that they're going to be using in the weekend league this weekend. But are there other cards out there that people maybe you know, still have to buy to link some of those together. I'm really curious with this Marquinhos card. I'm really keeping an eye on him. I know he's going to get supplied tonight with elite packs from rewards. Again, that's one thing we have to look at every single um, Thursday now is that some of these team of the season cards, of course, the 91 plus items are going to be available from rewards in the tradable packs, um, 91 plus from the elite and the top 100 packs. So I'm very curious to see if some of these cards, especially from League One, um, have a dip maybe and then a rebound after that on a guy like Marquinhos, a guy like Kaylor Navas. You've already seen Ben Yedder and you know some of these French cards like Klaas and Bamba go up so much. But I'm really curious to see if some of these cards continue to keep going, if there's more hype for those today, which honestly, if you're playing weekly this weekend, most likely you're going to be using some French players. I'm going to be using French players in my team to try to get those extra player picks. Now, we have this Lucas Hernandez that is in objectives right now. I think a decent amount of people have done him. And this Davies card is, you know, it's not a French card, but it is Bayern. It links Coman and it links that Hernandez card together. 400,000 coins is what he was earlier yesterday. That was really, really low on the market. I think some of these cards that aren't French, but have really good links to the popular French players that are in this game could also rise today now i'm going to take a look here at these this alfonso davy because if he's like 400k flat on an undercut or like low 400s i'm going to pull the trigger but he's 450 he is up so people are already looking at this card it looks like um we'll see if we have even more of a rise today after rewards but that'd be one thing you could look for on the market as well right now is maybe some of these cards during the first hour or so of, of the supply from the weekend league rewards um tradable on these team of the seasons do you see a drop on those cards and then a rise from people actually wanting to go out, go out and use those items in the weekend league. So that's going to be one thing I'll be curious to see what happens today with rewards. But other than that, I think you'll see the market, I mean, push up a little bit, not a ton. Again, there's a lot of coins that are on this market. You see with these fluctuations, you see with these cards, people have coins from doing the preview packs um, and stuff like that. So I'm very I guess I'm very curious to see how many people are motivated to go out and play Weekend League with these extra objectives available to us right now in this game. If it, at this stage of FIFA, are those types of objectives going to motivate people to play the Weekend League, which I honestly think that it will a little bit. Did I see Foden at 550? Was that actually sitting there? Because if that's actually sitting there, then I'm going to buy that at 550. Yeah, that got bought. That was a really low price for Foden. Anyways, this Pog was down at a million coins, but he's in packs today. So for rewards and with a guaranteed PTG, I'm probably going to be staying away from some of these cards that are in packs. 
like the Firmino, like the Pogba until later on in, t- in the day on Thursday. But speaking again about that guaranteed PTG SBC, what we have here is we still technically have the Team 1 SBC that is out in the game. It expires today. And again, if you guys remember, this was an 87 rated squad is what this costed. It came out right away at 200,000 coins, got really cheap over the next couple days, and then has rebounded back up as fodder has gone back up in the past couple days as well. Now, since PTG Team 2 is a lot cheaper with the preview packs, we've seen so much supply for these cards on the market. Do I think they make the PTG Team 2 cheaper than Team 1? I think if at all they do, it's only going to be an 86 rated squad. I think it's an 86 or an 87 rated squad today for these cards. Now, if you wanted to buy some 86s, as you see here, a really nice drop off into rewards with maybe a little bit of a less demand on yesterday on Wednesday for the higher tier SBC fodder market. Since that 82 times 10 didn't require a lot and the Rakitic SBC is cool, but that doesn't have as much demand as like a moments icon player pick did earlier in the week. So... I mean, maybe you see some of the 86s dip off again today during rewards if they jump down a little bit more on the index. Maybe you look to try to snag a few of these cards that maybe like, I don't know, if you can snag like 16,000 coins, they might go 20 plus with that guaranteed PTG pack coming later today if it is 86 or 87 rated. I don't think they'll go any lower than that. I don't think they'll go any higher than that. I feel like 86 is kind of even a little bit too much if I'm being completely honest because A lot of times what EA does, though, is they base these um, SBCs off of how they think they should be priced, and they don't necessarily go off of like the actual market price. Because if they value an 87 rated squad on this market right now, that's about 210,000 coins. This Path to Glory upgrade from last week is a 210,000 coin SBC, 200k ish uh, on both consoles. Now, I think they need to make it 86 rated because look at how many cards we have here in PTG Team 2 that are like under 200k or under 300,000 coins. Whereas last week on PTG Team 1, at this exact same time, we had three cards that were over 2 million coins with Havertz, with Griezmann, and with Vinicius. We had some very, very, very expensive cards last week in the team. Phil Foden was still a million coins last week, and right now he's 600k, right? So I think that this SPC has to be cheaper today. I still think that it will move fodder upwards in the general trend. And today might be a decent time to get out on some of these um, these cards as well. If you're going to buy some SPC fodder for a quick flip or if you have some in the club still, you maybe want to get out unless you don't think there's a promo coming on Friday and you want to hold on to those as we get more SPCs. That could be a thought process that you have as well. But I'm, again, I'm thinking 86 with a guaranteed PTG team player team two and i think they will require a team of the season or a team of the week card as they have been doing for a lot of those sbcs uh in the sec you know in the in the last couple of weeks i was gonna say second half of this year but i mean obviously only since team of the season have they been requiring those toss cards so i've got this griezmann here i'm gonna try to get like one six something for this tonight he just dropped off way too much now the interesting thing here is some of these nations can actually not get six wins you guys know how the upgrades work right since some of these teams in group f especially are coming out with only one win they needed two to technically stay alive to get the six win threshold for that five star five star and i believe right now if you take a look at the euro bracket and kind of do the math let's see french france is playing switzerland in the first round of 16 right but if you get if you take a look at this, France on one win right now will go one win to here, two, three, four, five. So technically, right now, all of Group F, which would be Portugal, Germany, and France, are capped at five wins. So they can still get the plus uh, two, plus one, and plus one if they were to go on through the rest of the tournament. But as it looks right now, these cards won't get the five star, five star. So it's going to be very hard to get the six win or hit that six win threshold unless a team that wins the Euros is a team that won at least two games uh, from their group play. So, uh, you know, England, a tough matchup first round against Germany. That's going to be a sick game. They still have the potential. Phil Foden could get that five star, five star upgrade if England were to win out and win the rest of the tournament because they came out of their group 
on two wins, if that makes sense. So again, I, we're really seeing now how I think the six win threshold was a bit too much. I feel like the first upgrade should have been after two wins. And then of course, maybe after three, then after four, and then after five, I think they should have subtracted one win off of each of these requirements. Cause again, it's going to be really hard to get that six wins um, unless you're Brazil and you maybe just go like seven and oh through the entire tournament. I don't know what's going to happen there, um, but they're on fire. So that's one interesting thing with these price drops today. That's why you saw Griezmann drop so much. That's why you've seen Pogba drop so much as well is because I think people were really hoping for the French national team to really show up. And technically they did, you know, get first in their group and they're moving on. But um, the upgrades aren't coming as quickly and they're, they're not planned out to come as quickly as people really wanted them to be. So I think that's why you're seeing such a huge drop off in those prices. But I do think you'll see some of them bounce back as well. And that's why I bought that Griezmann. Really watching this Havertz tonight too, because he went from 1.4 flat up into the 1.5s. Right now he is at 1.495. So if I saw these back down in the low 1.4s, I'd get interested again, because of course they are still alive and in the tournament. It's just, you know, now we're in the real fun, right? We're in the knockout stages, round of 16 and moving on past that. It's going to be really fun for the Euros and Copa America because of that. So again, today on Thursday, what we're really watching out for is a potential market rise on more of those French cards in this game. Icons, team of the seasons, out of pack special cards. Like, let me even take a look at this Alan St. Maxman, right? You know what? You're going to see a lot of this weekend. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say, man, this is not good. We don't want to see this. You're going to see a lot of Varane and Mendy. I'm calling it right now. You're going to see a lot of Ron and Mendy in the weekend league, basically because people are going to be rocking with those, the solid duo that they rocked with for so long earlier this year. They need those French links, especially if they don't have a lot of coins. You're going to see a lot of that. This same Max McCart is up a bunch. You're going to see a lot of those French links that maybe were used earlier on in the year. People are going to be using some lower tier cards, right? Because there's not, there's a lot of French team in the season items, but not always can you get the greatest of links with those. So of course, people are going to be dipping back into the earlier promos of FIFA with some of these, like the Alar card, as you can see here is already up a lot. French nationality from Foot Birthday. I think Foot Birthday Team 1 had, another, uh, oh, of course, the Ferland Mendy French card, the Sambia French card as well. So again, a lot of these promo cards from earlier on in the year that are French, uh, you're seeing a nice rise on those because, again, that demand is just so, so heavy. But I think one place, again, where you could look to maybe try to find a market rise today is somewhere where, um, yes, there are links to some of those French nation players where people might be having to, you know, because you need eight French players, maybe you're, for your rest of your three, you're linking together, again, like a Coman and a Lucas Hernandez with that Alfonso Davies. So just kind of trying to throw some things out there or maybe like the Marquinhos. I think that was a pretty good shot as well. Uh, I think you'll see a decent amount of the market today with links to French stuff move up. Because again, a lot of people have already bought cards they're going to use for this weekend league. Um, but I think there's still going to be more buying today. I think this market does have coins because of the preview packs. People are opening these packs for free, then deciding if they want to actually pay for them if they get something good from it. So you're probably going to see a little bit more of that even today with a refresh of the promo packs. It looks like almost every single day there's a little bit of a market crash. Probably going to happen today as well. Now, there's not any huge, huge games on today. I believe there might be some Copa America games. Bolivia, Uruguay, Chile, and Paraguay. Um, but the Euro 2020 games do not come back until Saturday with the knockout stages starting Italy, Austria, and Wales, Denmark. So, That'll be interesting to see if the market does not die off as much unless the content is insane because I feel like the Euros, the later Euro games um, are pulling people away from FIFA. They're watching those games instead, and that definitely impacts the market. But it is good to be back at the setup, boys. It is good to be back. Thanks for hanging in there with the phone videos uh, while I was at camp for a couple days. But that is the video for today, man. It should be an interesting Thursday. I'm going to rock up to the stream today with the 87 triple upgrade and the 82 times 10 rip a couple of those see if we get any ptg cards untradeable in the club that'd be dope so if you enjoyed this one smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out <laughs>